Welcome back guys to the Minecraft Military Force, I'm Crafty Fox, and today we're going to be building THAD, the Terminal High Altitude Area Defense. And it's actually the sister to the Patriot Missile System, which I just did a tutorial of recently. And this is basically an American anti-ballistic missile defense system designed to shoot down and intercept short, medium, and intermediate range ballistic missiles. They actually carry no warhead. They simply used kinetic energy to destroy the incoming missile. And these are actually manufactured by Lockheed Martin with the M1120 Hemet uh, Oshkosh LHS load handling system for the launcher. And they basically put this kind of missile container on the back of this Hemet. It's a bit different from the LHS that I did a tutorial of previously because I think this is like an A2 variant. And these are used by the US Army. They've been deployed to the UAE, Israel, Romania, and South Korea. In South Korea specifically, it's used to counteract the North Korean threats, although it's a hot issue because China sees it as undermining their nuclear deterrent capabilities. So it's kind of a controversial issue. But anyways, let's go take a look at the build. So I have two versions here. One is in transport mode and the other one is in the activated firing position. So you can use this to shoot down missiles. Uh, we have extended out stabilizers here and this skate actually goes down like that. And I think you can fit four of these THAAD missiles. Uh, we also have uh, this part. It's actually where the LHS connects to the container right there. And then uh, when it's activated, you can see all the hydraulics, they open up. I've also made some improvements in the Oshkosh Hemet design, uh, making the A2 variant. So I updated the front a little bit, so it should be more accurate and look less like the A4 variant. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's actually made possible by CSM Master. He actually commissioned this build along with some other ones. If you guys do want to sponsor a video or commission a build, check out the link in the description. But anyways, let's get started. So for this tutorial, I'll first be making uh, the base model, like the chassis, the truck itself. And then later I'll split it off whether you want to make it firing or you want it in transport mode. So yeah, let's grab some materials. We're going to take out a birch slab, smooth sandstone slab, and block, cut sandstone, smooth sandstone stairs, a birch trap door, a polished blackstone brick stairs, sandstone slab, sandstone wall all right so first let's do the wheels just going to be our two by two polished blackstone brick uh, stairs like this all right and then on the inside we'll add in a two by two sandstone walls like this and add in the other wheel just like that all right and then we're going to go in the front we'll add in a birch plank two blocks wide and then birch slabs um, two blocks wide and then brush slabs again, two blocks wide. Behind, I think it's just smooth sandstone blocks, two blocks wide, cut sandstone block, upside down, smooth sandstone stairs, birch trap door, and then smooth sandstone slabs, smooth sandstone on top of that. And then to the side, we'll add in a acacia button, item frame, orange bed, and we want the orange part so it faces inside. And then a birch fence gate, oh wait, I messed this up. Birch fence gate um, on it, open that up like that. Then we'll go inside, add in a black concrete, nether brick stairs outside part. And then to the side, we'll add in smooth sandstone block, two blocks tall. And then a lever here, an iron bar, birch shop door, and more on top, two blocks like that. And then another one right here. Then the front, then we're going to copy the wheels again so that there's going to be another pair right behind it like that, make sure they're all connected together. Then we're going to add in a 2x4 cut sandstone blocks right behind it. And then we'll copy the wheels again, so all four of the wheels just build it um, in the back of this right around here. Just so it looks like this, very nice. Then we're going to go down here and we'll add in a 2x2. Uh, in the inside of these wheels, right the center of it, just like that. And then the back will add in two blocks wide, sandstone wall, and then cut sandstone slab four blocks wide, just like so. All right, next we'll add in a gray carpet here, birch fence gate, open it up towards the front, another birch fence gate in the back of this two blocks wide, 
And then we'll do the same thing on the other side right there. And we'll go in the front part, we'll add in three cut sandstone blocks right there. Then we'll go in the front, add in a birch fence like that. Then we'll copy this whole front area and then build the other half. Once we have both halves, it looks like this. Then we'll add in another brick stairs and a birch trap door, close that up. Then a row of light gray carpets cross. A skeleton skull on the left. Then in the back of this, we'll add in a smooth sandstone stairs. So corner it right here, facing towards the back right there. Then we'll add in cut sandstone block, two blocks long here. While the other side, we'll add in two birch planks. Then we'll add in cut sandstone slabs, add in two like that, one over here. Then we'll add in sandstone wall here, cut sandstone slab right there. And then smooth sandstone stairs upside down here, another one facing towards the front. And then we'll add in upside down smooth sandstone stairs. And then cut sandstone block, two blocks long. And then sandstone stairs upside down, just like that. And then a cut sandstone slab, two blocks long here. And then smooth sandstone stairs, two of them facing towards the front. And then birch trap doors, could add in three of them here. Then on the other side, we'll add in a dark oak trap door here, close it up. Birch trap door here. Then we'll add in a sandstone stairs and a sandstone wall and a birch pressure plate on top of that. And we'll also add in a cut sandstone block right here. And then a chain on top of here. Yeah, there's gonna be three iron bars top of that. Then we'll add in a birch button to the side of this. Another two birch buttons here. Two daylight detectors, close these trap doors. And we'll add in two sandstone walls here. And then a smooth sandstone stairs just facing two of them facing this way. And then we'll add in um, sandstone stairs, it's gonna be um, right side up, two of them here, and then upside down here. Then we'll need our birch trap door underneath this part, the fuel tank, close it up like that. Side, we'll add in a dark oak sign like this and a gray carpet on top of that. And then we'll add in a fence gate right here, birch. And the other side, it turns out this um, stairs here is actually supposed to be a slab, so I'm gonna change that right now. Also add in a birch button to the side of that. And then a dark oak fence gate right here. Open it up like so. Over here, we'll add in a sandstone wall. And then a flower pot to the sides of it. Just like that. And then we'll add in a dark oak fence gate behind this. Open it up towards the front. So yeah, that's actually it for, uh, I guess, the chassis, the truck. Now I'm going to split off the tutorial. Alright, so first let's make it in transport mode. So let's go to the back. And we're going to take out um, cut sandstone block. Two blocks wide right there. Top of sandstone wall. And we're going to extend it all the way to the front. Then we'll add in sandstone wall to the side of this. And then two birch fence gates and then an upside down smooth sandstone stairs right there. And the other side we're going to repeat the same exact thing. Just like that. Then in the back here we'll add in cut sandstone slabs to the side of this. And then four blocks wide. And then we'll add in a sandstone wall to the edges of this. And then, I'm freaking Mark Tetra in my video, um, dark oak fence gates here, open that up like this towards the front. And then cut sandstone slab, we're gonna add one on the edges here. And then four blocks cross here. And then birch trap doors, two blocks wide like that. Then the middle we'll add in cut sandstone block, two blocks wide there. And then on top, four blocks wide of cut sandstone slabs. Then we'll add in smooth sandstone stairs facing towards the front on the corners. And then a row of birch shop doors that open them all up like that. Next up, we'll go um, right over here. And we're gonna add in cut sandstone block, two blocks wide. 
and then smooth sandstone stairs facing outwards both sides just like that and then cut sandstone slabs a row across like that all right next up we're to extend this smooth sandstone stairs all the way across the side right up to the back part and the other side would we'll just do the same thing all the way across like this and then cut sandstone slabs all the way across the top of it and apparently in the world that it's not working that's why i'm building it by hand even though it's so simple then we'll go in the front we'll add in our birch trap doors we'll close it up four blocks wide here and we'll also add in the bottom layer here two here and then one over there then we'll go to the back and we'll add in a sandstone wall right behind the last wheel here and we'll also go in the back of this apparently this slab doesn't exist it's actually a flower pot all right so yeah that's pretty much it on how to build a fad in uh, transport mode now let's move on to make it in the firing position so let's go right here in the back and i'm going to add in a birch a fence gate to the sides of this and then a cut sandstone slab to the side of that and a sandstone wall delete the block in the floor and the other side will do the same thing just like this inside the floor we'll add in a sandstone block doesn't matter which block because all the tops are the same and then another brick fence on top of that just like so then over here we'll add in a cut sandstone slab two blocks wide and then a birch trap door on top just like that all right next up let's go in the front here and we'll add in a birch fence gate here open that up birch fence over here and then daylight detector on the outer sides and then a birch fence gate here close them up and then cut sandstone slabs this is going to go two blocks wide all the way across to the back just like this we'll add in a birch trap doors two of them here both sides and then a birch fence gate top of that and we'll need a cut sandstone slab in this little gap both sides Next, we'll add in a pair of dark oak fence gates here, open them up, a cut sandstone a block on top, and we'll make two blocks wide, and then behind four blocks wide, and two blocks tall. We'll add in sandstone wall, a two by four, and then we'll need our smooth sandstone stairs upside down here, and then a row of four birch fence gates like that and cut sandstone slabs four blocks across like so then on top we'll add in two by four of sandstone walls and then to the side we'll add in cut sandstone block two blocks tall both sides like that and then upside down smooth sandstone stairs right there and then a uh, cut sandstone block we're going to make it a uh, two by four again right here and then the block down below will also fill this in two by two cut sandstone also add in cut sandstone inside here and we'll add it upside down smooth sandstone stairs here both sides and then sandstone wall the sides of that and then sandstone wall four blocks across and then smooth sandstone stairs facing each other upside down sandstone wall to the sides of that and then we'll add in cut sandstone slab two blocks wide and then sandstone wall two by two and then four blocks wide at the top then two blocks wide cut sandstone block with smooth sandstone stairs upside down sides of that and we'll also need our birch fence on the edges and then the middle here two birch fence gates open them up then we'll add in a two by two of sandstone wall and upside down smooth sandstone stairs facing outwards and then behind this four blocks wide cut sandstone block and then sandstone wall two by four here and four blocks long here and another four here with cut sandstone slab that's going to be on the top part four blocks wide and then a row of birch trap doors just like this 
and then cut sandstone blocks, just four blocks wide like that. Then sandstone walls on the edges and birch fence gates in the middle of that, open them up like that. All right, next up, we'll add in a polished black stone buttons. Got line up right over here, both sides. We'll also add in a flower pot on top of the stabilizers, just like that. And that's pretty much it on how to make the Thad in Minecraft. Again, thanks to CSM Master for commissioning this build, making this video possible. If you guys do want to sponsor a video or commission a build, check out the link in the description. It really helps because it really does help this channel keep going because YouTube ads alone, they don't make enough money to make this channel financially viable. So I appreciate everyone who actually donates. But yeah, if you guys enjoy the video, make sure you hit that like button down below. Leave a comment if you actually completed this and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.